Hey, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Francisca and for today's video, I'll be showing you how I made an Easter day piñata. Now, there is two piñatas that I'll be making, well, that I made. The first one was an egg, which is in the part one of this video. If you want to go ahead and watch it, go ahead. And this one, it's a bunny. Now, I just decided to make these piñatas because I have kids and with Easter coming up, I think it's a really fun um, outdoor activity for them and if you would like to make one of your own make sure you keep on watching and yeah let's get right into it okay now to start off my piñata I am doing it out of a pizza box so yeah instead of throwing it away I found another use to it and yeah, I'm just doing the the shape of the face of the bunny and then I'm doing two ears one of them is going to be like a bent ear and the other one is going to be like a pointy straight up ear. I had already done them so I'm just going to go ahead and trace them and then I'm going to take my scissors and cut them out. I'm doing two of each just so that it could have the two dimension and yeah just make sure you cut it and outline it. You don't necessarily have to do this one but it's just an idea of like a bunny piñata that you can make but it's really simple to make. I found it really simple and yeah just cut around once you're done with that you're gonna go ahead and attach the ears to the head as you can see I'm just gonna do it with some tape just gonna take my tape and put it there just secure it in place and once you're done securing it in place you want to go ahead and put the other one on top and just make sure that they align perfectly so that when you add the dimension to it, um, it won't be, well, it would stay in place and easier for you to make the, the piñata. But yeah, after this, I'm just going to take some of my recycled cardboards of the other ones leftovers. I just cut it like it could be from four to five inches. As you can see, I did it and I'm just going to attach it to my head. And I'm just going to go all over the outline of it. Okay, so take your time. Um, it might be a little bit tricky if you haven't done this before. But yeah, I'm just starting off um, with easy piñatas so that you guys could kind of get the hang of it. But yeah, just go ahead and attach your cardboard all around the outline. I started off with one side and then I'm just going to attach the one on top. And as you can see, that's going to give it a dimension to it so once you have finished attaching that to your piñata and taping it you're basically just gonna go ahead and do the same process throughout the whole piñata right here I am bending it like backwards so that it could have that crease where the cheek cuts cuts yeah and do it all around make sure you cover it but then do leave like a little opening before you finish covering it so that you are able to attach your string or whatever you're going to use for it to hang off from. Okay, so right here, I'm just going to go ahead and add my string so that it could hang. So you want to go ahead and make holes. I am doing two of them and just took a piece of string and going to put it right through the, through the holes and pull it out the side of my piñata. As you can see, I have not closed everything yet. But yeah, make sure you give it a nice knot and that should be good for hanging. And make sure you use like strong string because you don't want it to like snap off or like just fall in the middle of, you know, breaking it. But yeah, after that, all I'm going to do is continue to cover the rest of the sides of the piñata. And then to make it hard, what I'm going to do is add paper um, covered and Engrudo, that's what we call it in Spanish. I think in English it's paper mache. I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah. So basically it's just a mixture of water and flour together. If you want to see how I make it, you could go ahead and check out my Easter egg piñata video. Right there, um, I did show how I make made it. Just because this was supposed to be one video, but it was too long. So I decided to make it into two. But yeah, just cover it all up. Make sure you give it about three to four layers, depending on how, how strong you want it. I'm just having 
this for two of my kids. So I believe I gave it about three layers. And then in addition, I gave it this white layer of paper just so that um, the colors of the other paper won't be seen through when I add my white t-shirt paper to decorate it. But yeah, go ahead and cover it all up. Make sure you don't miss a spot. If you miss a spot, it's okay. Um, I did miss one like under the ear, but I just didn't want to go back and do it. So yeah, after that, you put it to dry and these are the papers that I'll be using. Cut it into like a fringe style. So as you can see, I took two sheets of tissue paper and then I bent it, folded it, fold it in half and I cut through. Then I did the same process again. I did it two times, I believe. And then the last one, like the last time that I did, I just bent it in half, but, um, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna cut it. I'm just gonna like cut the fringe to it. If I explain myself correctly, but yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Just fold it in half and then I'm just gonna like over layer different ones so that it could be a little bit faster, like the process a little bit faster. Cause I don't want to be taking too long, but yeah, just go ahead and Hold it like so and just start cutting your fringe. Make sure you do it on the side that is not bent because otherwise your paper's not going to look like this. So yeah, I'm right here. I'm just outlining like the shape of where I'm going to do the pink side of the ears. And then once I am done with that, I'm going to go ahead and start adding my tissue paper all over the pinata. So I do like to start off at the bottom and the sides. I just find it easier for me to work that way. So I am gonna be placing it in a certain direction. Just as, like, just try to picture um, the fringe coming down and how it would look, like what direction it would face when it's at the bottom. And yeah, you always want to start from the bottom because you just go one layer up and another and another. Just make sure you add your glue and cut it out. I am using a brush because I don't want to get my hands dirty. Or if you don't want to use that glue, you could always buy the, the like that adhesive that you spray or spray on glue, which should make it a little bit faster. And on the other side, I'm doing it in the opposite direction just so you that you could see how I'm doing it. Now, once I did decorate the sides of the paper, like I continued, I am making a hole on the side so that it won't be that noticeable. Kids, do not use knives. Ask your parents if you guys are going to do this. But yeah, this is how I cover the opening because I don't want it to... I'd rather do it myself and make it look nice than forget and then just have somebody stab a knife through it and try to open their own holes and it's not gonna look cute but yeah just continue to add your layers of paper and this is what it looks like when all the sides are done now that all my sides are done i'm gonna do the front and the back of my pinata that's my opening as you can see it's pretty hidden and i like how it turns out but yeah i'm gonna start off with my ears and just gonna fill out the inner part of the ears with my pink paper. So it's just as you started with the um, the sides of the pinata with the white paper, you start off at the bottom and then just continue to add glue. Make sure you have enough glue and add layer over layer of, of this paper and just do it within the, the outline that you made for the for the ears. Once you are finished with that, um, we're gonna go ahead and continue to work on the rest of the face of the pinata. So yeah, um, it's basically the same process. Add your glue and then just add your your white um sorry your white tissue paper. Um, take your time. Add one layer at a time. Make sure. As I said, start from the bottom and work your way up. 
I you can use some scissors to cut it off at the end or me I just like kind of hold it off a little and then like pull it and rip it off which you can't really tell um, but just make sure that it is neat nice and neat and again you'll get the hang of it and I feel like out of the whole piñata this was probably the fastest process for me to add the white paper of it now right here as you can see I kind of like picked up the bottom of the pink paper just to do it underneath so it could be like over layered on the white and then just pull it back down I bent the top with some glue and now we're going to continue to work on the ears and make sure that you fill in all the edges of your ears and continue with that pink like following that outline and yeah you could do that and then at the end I just decided to cut a bunch of little papers according like I kind of like eyeballed the side like look at the size of how how wide they had to be and just it made it a lot faster for me to just already have everything cut out and just add my glue and continue to over layer it and paste it on as you can see now we just did the other ear and continue to fill out fill in any of the parts that had to be filled in and it's looking pretty good now this is black paper um, it catches a little bit different on camera but yes it is black paper and i'm gonna go ahead and cut two circles to work on the eyes and then i am doing the nose kind of like a like a triangle kind of shape heart shaped nose but yeah that's gonna be my nose and those are the eyes then i did do the mouth like two little loops i don't know but um, it looked pretty nice, but I was just not happy with it. I did cut out some whiskers, so I decided to remove them. And then I just went ahead and I just thought that the bunny needed some bigger eyes. So in this case, I did them like ovals and I made them bigger. And then my mouth, it was just a simple U, simple happy face. Like, you know that like U-shaped but yeah, um, I just cut another mouth to it, um, fixed the eyes, and then I was happy on how it was looking. So I took my glue and I decided to put everything in place. Adding my whiskers, I added three whiskers to each side. But yeah, I did place my glue before I just applied them. And then my eyes put them in place and um, yeah that's pretty much all you do now at the end I did add like a little bit of white to the eyes so I hope you guys really enjoyed um, the video as much as I enjoyed ma making it for you and yeah if you want to see this is how my pinata turned out to look like it's a beautiful bunny don't you think I don't know but yeah, I just like the way the eyes came out, like they're really big and the nose and the mouth and everything. The ears and the bent one. This is kind of like um, the similar shape as a Pikachu piñata that I made. If you're interested in me making one for you guys, make sure you guys let me know in the comment section down below. But yeah, um, I really like how you can't really tell that um, this is where the hole is for the candies. As you can see, if you open it. You could put your candies through there. But yeah, um, the other side is the same. You could get a little bit creative and do different faces for them. Like you can make this a boy and this a girl. Or maybe you want to do a gray bunny. Um, just be creative. Things aren't like everything that I used was pretty much recycled except the final paper. But yeah, um, I hope you have really enjoyed it. If you haven't already seen how I made this egg piñata, it's really small and simple, but it's really easy. And I'm pretty sure my kids are going to have tons of fun with it, even though it's small. They already love it as it is. But yeah, um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Comment down below anything else that you would like to see. And this is something that my son made for me. So yeah, he said, 
pick this one up to tell people to hit the little bell icon yeah so that you get notified every time i upload a video and then don't forget to hit that subscribe button subscribe yeah subscribe to my channel give this a thumbs up and let's be creative together so yeah see you guys next time